Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your Behringer X32. If you're brand new to my channel, I am all about making you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. First thing that you're gonna need is a USB drive that works with your Behringer X32. You will need to format this to a FAT32 drive, which in most cases, that comes default with these thumb drives. So we do need to download the firmware. So we're going to go to Google and type in Behringer X32. Once you've come here, you can click on the product Behringer X32. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click the arrow at software and then we will download the most recent firmware version. In this case, we have version 4.06. It's going to ask you to agree to these terms and then press download. You will then see it downloads a zip file, which we will then just need to extract this. So on a Mac, you can just double click and it will pull up in a new window here. So this is the file that we need to copy to our USB drive. We wanna go ahead and place it on the root folder, which means just take this and drag it into your USB drive. Once we have that file on our USB drive, it's time to go ahead and plug this into our board. So we just go ahead and plug it into the USB recorder section in the top portion of the board. And depending on what firmware version you are on, you'll have a couple different ways of updating your firmware. The easiest way of updating your firmware is pressing setup and then go into your global and we can see this setting that says update firmware. If you don't happen to have an update firmware setting here, then you will need to update it by turning off your console, pressing and holding view in the USB recorder section, turning it on. And then a firmware update will initiate upon power on of the console. But before we do that, we would want to back up all of our settings on the board. And I've actually made another YouTube video that I've linked down in the description below to help you with that. But in this case, we are going to update our firmware by using this menu here. So scroll down to update firmware, and we are going to select our 4.06 update. And it's going to ask you to back up all your console data first. Now this is a huge benefit to the brand new firmwares is it allows you to back up your entire console with one press. So we're going to press yes that we want to back up all of our console. At this point, this is just going to continue through the update process after it backs up all of the data. Once the firmware update is complete, the console will reboot and then pop up with this new welcome to the firmware. Do not do this on a Sunday morning. Do not do this on an event date. Make sure that you have multiple days of time between the day that you update your console and your next event that you have. Just in case something goes wrong in the firmware update, it will give you enough time to be able to recover everything. Once we're done reading this, we can go ahead and press close. Now, if anything did go wrong during the update and it did happen to delete some of your library information, you can go to setup you can tab over to global, and with this third rotary knob, we can go back down to restore, and then we can, collect, we can select this to restore our entire console from the save. If you, for some reason, wanted to downgrade your version firmware on the X32, you can press setup, go down to update firmware, and select a previous version of firmware. So if we wanted to, say, select 4.4, we could load that onto this USB drive and downgrade our firmware in the same way that we updated our firmware. I hope this video was helpful for you getting your Behringer X32 or M32 updated. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any ideas on videos that you'd like me to make, feel free to post them in that comment section below as I'm always looking through there for other ideas of videos that are gonna be helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel or check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Thanks so much.